this video isn't about cans of Coke. But it does start with a can. Actually, it starts with two cans. Let's call them Can 1 and Can 2. Actually, that's not very imaginative. Let's call them Steve and Vince. Now, Steve and Vince are practically identical. In fact, if I took them both and put them behind my back, swapped them round a few times and then put them back on the table, you'd struggle to tell me which one was Steve and which one was Vince. And does it matter if they both look the same and contain the same thing, then surely it doesn't matter which one is which. I know what you're thinking. Get to the bloody point, John, but this is about to make sense soon, so bear with me. So let's say I take Steve and shake him up. Like, really shake the crap out of him. Now if you look at Steve and Vince, they look exactly the same. Their contents are exactly the same. But the kinetic energy caused by swinging Steve around like someone who's making a cocktail has caused a reaction in him. There is no visual way of telling that Steve is any different to his usual self. He looks exactly the same as usual because the can does a good job of hiding the reaction going on inside. A reaction that is completely out of Steve's control. Without knowing which can is which, if I asked you to open one up, you'd proceed with caution. Now imagine you walked into this room and saw two nice cold cans of Diet Coke sat on the table. It's a sunny day, you've been working hard. Go on, treat yourself. It's a Tuesday. You have no idea one has been shaken up, so you grab one, go outside, open it, and boom. Oh, what the fuck, Steve? You see, now Steve just seems like a total dick unpredictable, blowing up for no reason. I suppose the point is you never really know what is going on inside a can. You never know what reactions are taking place inside a can and how they react when you open them. Sure, sometimes there are signs, a can could be scuffed or dented, you may have even seen one being dropped and you know that can needs to be handled with care. But sometimes it's not that obvious. A can can look okay but be all shook up inside. So as a general rule of thumb, treat all cans with care. That way you can't go wrong. Also, it can't hurt if a can could let you know that it was all shook up. So this is a gentle bit of encouragement to all cans out there to let us know if they're feeling shook up. It can only make things better. I guess if there was a simple way to sum up today's video, it would be don't be a dick. And if you're feeling all shook up, I promise you it will help if you talk.